Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we are going to explain something you will find at the core of modern web security. Something called JWT which stands for JSON Web Token. If you've ever logged into a website and stayed logged in even after refreshing the page, chances are a JWT was working behind the scenes. We'll walk through what JWT is, how it works, what it's made of and why it's such a popular choice in web development. You will see each part of the explanation appear in the diagram on screen as we go. Let's get started. So first, what exactly is a JWT? A JWT or JSON Web Token is a compact and secure way to transmit information between two parties, typically a client and a server. It's most commonly used for authentication and authorization. After a user logs in, the server creates a JWT and sends it to the client. That token acts as a form of identification. The client can then include that token with every future request to prove who they are, without needing to log in again. So in short, a JWT is like a digital passport, proving the user's identity to the server without the need for sessions or repeated logins. Now let's look at how a JWT is structured. A JWT is made up of three parts and each part is separated by a dot. The first part is the header. This contains information about how the token is encoded, including the algorithm used for signing and the token type, which is usually JWT. The second part is the payload. This holds the actual data or claims, such as the user's ID, their email address, roles, and even an expiration time. The third part is the signature. This is generated by combining the header and the payload and then signing that combination with a secret key. The signature ensures that the token has not been tampered with. So if you look at a JWT, it appears as one long string made up of three encoded parts, the header, the payload and the signature, each separated by a dot. Let's walk through how JWT works step by step. First, the user enters their login credentials, typically a username and password. The server verifies those credentials and if they're correct, it generates a JWT. That token contains some basic user information and is signed using the server's secret key. Next, the server sends the token back to the client and the client stores it usually in the browser's local storage or in a secure cookie. Then with every future request, the client attaches the token to the request header, usually under a field called authorization followed by the word bearer and the token. Finally, the server receives the request checks the token, verifies the signature, and if it all checks out, it allows the request to proceed. This process eliminates the need to store session data on the server, making the system more scalable. Now you might be wondering, is JWT actually secure? The answer is yes, but with some important considerations, a JWT is not encrypted by default. It is encoded and digitally signed which means the information inside the token is visible if someone inspects it. However, the signature makes it tamper-proof. If even a single character is changed, the signature will no longer be valid. To keep your application secure, you should always use JWTS over HTTPS to prevent tokens from being intercepted. And if you need to protect sensitive data inside the token, you can use encryption along with signing. So yes, JWT is secure when used correctly. Now let's talk about why JWT is so widely used. One reason is that it is stateless, which means the server does not have to remember anything about the user session. The token itself carries all the necessary information. Another reason is that JWT is self-contained. Everything the server needs to know is already in the token. There is no need to fetch session data from a database. JWTs are also cross-platform and mobile friendly. They can be used in traditional web apps, single page applications, and mobile apps with ease. And finally, JWT is ideal for scalable systems and microservices where keeping track of server side sessions would be inefficient. In short, JWT helps simplify secure authentication in modern distributed environments. So where do we actually use JWT in the real world? One of the most common use cases is user login. Once a user logs in successfully, they get a token they can use to access protected routes or pages. JWT is also used in API authorization where each request must include a valid token in order to be accepted. 
In microservices, JWTS allow each service to independently verify user identity without having to query a central session store. And in single sign-on systems, JWTs can carry authentication across multiple applications, allowing the user to log in once and stay logged in everywhere. Let's wrap up what we've learned. A JWT or JSON Weber token is a secure way to transmit identity and authorization data between a client and a server. It has three parts, the header, the payload, and the signature. It's used to confirm identity after login and to authorize future requests. It is not encrypted by default, but it is signed to prevent tampering. And when used over HTTPS, it provides a safe and scalable way to handle authentication in modern applications. That's the full picture of JWT, how it works, why it's used, and what makes it so powerful.